think of him? It's only a bull. Do I have to ride with him if I want to see Jesse? Anna, you're not going up there. It's not safe for anyone. Mr. Furbeck will look after me. Won't you, Luke? You better watch him. There's been some cattle stealing the last few weeks. My man's lost three good steer. I've lost He's some cattle. Don't escape, pardon me. Yeah, who's doing anything to protect us? All right, all right. Yeah, well, like Come on, Anna. Let's go. Right. There was no need for that. If anyone so much as touches him, they know what to expect. You don't take the law into your own hands. They're all saying the same thing. You let too many of these bastards go loose. What do they use for law? You keep them locked up. That's your job. I'll do mine. December the 18th, 1829. We have laid claim to land and begun the construction of a home in a heavily wooded place so that as we cut the trees, the land is opened about us and we are saved the added labor of carrying the timbers any great distance. Luke has been replacing supplies and tools lost on the journey. He returned today to the joy and relief of us all. Jesse. What are we wrong with a bull? Those gullies are crawling with cattle. Wild, don't belong to anyone. We'll round them up and start a herd. I'm not interested in cattle. It costs nothing but the grass they feed on. <laughs> Go and see what I've brought you. Hey, come along, Anna. Anna, do hurry up. Come over here and look at this. Look. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> Job lot. Man of Potter's Creek gone bankrupt. Anna, come. Where the hell Samuel? Marking the boundaries of our land. What do we want with boundaries? It's ours, isn't it? All of it. Oh, look, you got home. Oh, how wonderful. Anna, we the lake.
Lay it down. You don't have to be afraid. What are you going to do? I'm Samuel Furbeck. This is Furbeck land. We've, we've taken it. all to feed the lands you've taken. Oh, your crops will grow fine, mister, with our flesh and bone. Where's your man? Your husband? Who's looking after you? How long have you been here? I came to this cursed land. We came from an orphanage in Coventry. They said here it'd give us a better chance. You're not a convict then? No, mister. Not a convict. I was 15, on board ship. They raped us, all of us, the sailors. And when they'd done, when we got here, they left us to the mercy of the stinking streets. Sydney town. Know what that means, mister? Four years of it. My mother of God. And then, about a year ago, a man, a real man, I told him I'd run away from my job. Come, even leave me. Tom loves me. Tom, he's a ticket of leave man, is he? Or is he a convict? He's gone to get supplies. When was that? A week, more, I don't know. For your own sake, when he gets back, you'd best leave here. My brother has no compunction. He won't be safe if he finds you here. I hope things go better for you. Hey, mister, not that way. There's bog that way. Bog? Our milk coat sank in it. you to do? Ask no question. Shoot and shoot to kill. To kill? Understand? Any harm comes to that bull. Trust me, mister. I know how to kill. Look! What are you doing here? You should be asleep by the dray. You're going to watch Caesar for me. Caesar? The bull. Is that all you ever think of? Well, just look at him. 
Can't you see him fathering a fine herd? Come back in three years and you'll see the fruits of his labor. In three years I shall be so old. In three years we'll have more land than you can dream of. Sheep, cattle, a house. You'll be coming in a carriage. And Jassy, a nice gown, making you tea. Father lording it like a colonial gentleman. And what about you? Oh, I'll be with Caesar. Feeding him up. Rewarding him for three years of making us rich. You dream of a bull. Go to sleep. If you don't, I'll put you to guarding him with Morgan. So then we'll go, but not quiet now, not quiet at once. I mean exactly what I say. Go on, Morgan. Look. He knows damn well who took it. I won't allow it. I've seen enough without bringing it to my own home. Look, Luke, he's been hurt enough already. And that's three of us. If Samuel were here, he'd agree with Father. Yes, he would. You just won't accept the sort of place this is. We can be human wherever we are. You'd really like to believe that, wouldn't you, Father? I've said all I know, mister. So it's honor amongst thieves, is it? Don't betray your kind. We'll see. Who stole the bull? everyone hereabouts. No, mister. <laughs> Shipton. Shipton. I can't be. It's so. <laughs> Where do I find him? 
are no land, mister. By the shadow of Crosley. You lying scum. On the holy book, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Trot him loose. Get the horses. Like hell. Soon leave my own felt than that. Not harm me. Don't waste time. No, I'll just slow you down. You go, I'll be all right. I'll wait for you. I'll be here. Be with us, Mother Shipton. Witch, bitch. Be with us. Shifting all right. A real boulder, ain't he? <laughs> he always was. But he won't get far. You seen him go, didn't you? Same as me. That way. We both see it. Who's his lordship to know the difference?
Luke in anger is like a ship of war locked inescapably upon some supernatural tide. He responds neither to reason nor persuasions, but is borne relentlessly forward, seeking out, bent upon that most unworthy of causes, revenge. But of his quarry, a four-week search has revealed no trace, nor has the closely guarded bait enticed him near. Oh, put your gun down and eat up, man. I shan't run away. You shut up. It's ordered. Now young Robarts has arrived with news, and the search is ended. So Shipton has been killed. Those who live by the sword. What happened? A convict shot him. So your convicts have muskets now? Yes. They get them? I don't know where. How would you prevent it? Keep them locked up. What would you have done if you had caught Shipton? Killed him. And some convicts done you a great service. Perhaps saved you from a charge of murder. But defending what's mine. Magistrates don't parley with squatters. They'll do anything they can to get you off these lands. I told you before, you take the law into your own hands and... That's it, it was murder. And there'll be nothing I could do to help you. So, Shipton was shot? Yes, his body was found in the Parramatta River. His garment, muskets. His corpse was identified by two people. Who? Oh. Two convicts that knew him. God rest him. May he rest in hell. We will, I pray, detain the woman no longer. For in Luke's absence, Samuel has paid her attentions more than her lowly station warrants. There are times when I find Luke hard to stomach. <laughs> Poor old Shipton. No one to mourn him. Don't tell her the bastard is dead. Mm, yes, I must do that. Death's not enough over my just skinny, stinking corpse. We're not what we were. It's all right, Luke. We understand. You do. The weak die, Jesse. Yes. I think they know it. It's hard to accept, that's all. Stay with me, Jesse. This man want to go be got no money. Pretty, ain't it? Sell it if you like. <laughs> you mean he had her and he paid with this? One of the best girls I've ever worked for me. Where's <laughs> <laughs> the place a bit of class? <laughs> One thing rubbish like that would know the difference, would you? <laughs> <laughs> the 
they did. <laughs> Do you know what that woman is, do you? Keep your voice down. She's a whore. A paid bloody whore. You went the others. A brothel wench. You didn't know that, did you? Yes, I did. She told me. Well, what chance would she have? A girl, 15. Transported at the mercy of riffraff. Look, I'd... I'd like to give her that chance now. There's nothing to what she's going to give you. I love her, Luke. Love that. Have her here with Jassy on my land. It's not your land! I'll be talking to Father. Talk to God if you like. She'll not stay. Morgan, get your sleep. Right. Nora. Nora. The sly bitch. Oh, the sly bitch. She took off and got away. She, she's a sly one, mister. I swear I never saw much as close me eyes. Get out of here. You're a kind man, but no good to me in no way. Your brother won't want me no more. Hey, Sam! You should be out marking the trees. Don't start a thing you can't finish. I'll give the orders. Then tell him. Here's the boy who wasn't interested in Barnes. That woman's back in the damn shack. I'll tell you something. Shipton's still alive. She's waiting for him. That his body's been identified. Do you think I can't tell a woman in grief? And a woman who's waiting? She's waiting. I'm going to Parramatta to have a look at the body for myself. It'll be six feet under by now. I can dig it up. I'll keep Samuel away from the shack. There's no need for him to know she's still around. Now I understand. You're determined to go? Yes. Why don't you call on Judge Glynn? They were very kind to Jazzy and me. I think we've made rather an influential friend, though. You wouldn't be politicking, would you, Father? Perhaps a little. Well, of course. <laughs> that awful fat daughter. Well, you're not politicking me into a marriage bed, I can tell you that. It's a very fine property. There's rather a good dowry goes with her. You wouldn't need to. Try Samuel, see if he needs a wife. I've been making it for you. <laughs> 
Don't you stop. <laughs> what? Father's trying to marry me off. <laughs> stop it. Oh, Thomas! How's it sitting there? Very, very good. I brought you back here to back it. Come on! To your feet! To your feet! Come on! Come on, enough of this malingering! Get up, you lazy mongrel! Come on! To your feet! Come on! All right, come on, old man! You here to look over this rabble, sir? No, I'm not. That's it, come on! Come on, Jack, will you? Come on, here. Come along now. Back. Yes, ma'am. Ah, it's uh, Mistress Glynn, isn't it? And Caroline. We hope we'll be seeing you while you're here. I'll pay my respects later in the day. I still have some business to attend to. Well, dine with us. Come, Come at about six. Thank you, ma'am. Your <laughs> servant is coming. Move it along. Oh, that's Move lovely, it, I say. Move it along. Uh, Keep uh, on moving. Uh, Come on, get along now. Get off the street, man. Come on, move it along. Get past these ladies. No mistake, I assure you. Thomas Shipton. I put it down myself. But you must have had some proof. Indeed, there is. There's a gun marked with his name and two of his cronies. We've no reason to distrust them. Both saw it and identified the body. What more do you want? Identifying myself. You can trust ex-convicts, if you like. The coffin is closed. God knows I tried to live like a Christian and to call my fellow human beings a little charity. Sinners we all are in life, sir. But in death, they are taken out of our hands. I will not permit Shipton's coffin to be tampered with. May he rest in peace. <laughs> Which one's shipped in the convict? I'll be in run myself if I get copped. Come on, man, quickly, you fool. Take your look. <coughs> That's not Thomas Shipton. I'll swear it is. Why would I tell you different? You clever, tricky bastard. Where are you? It's a vast area, does he not, Mr. Furbeck? We're squatters, ma'am. The gentlemen squatters. Quite a different kettle of fish, aren't they, dear? There are too many of them going out and setting up on their own. We're suffering a labor shortage. Jeffrey blames the squatters. Mm. Opening up all this wasteland. They should stay here behind the mountains. You saw the, that man I picked up, did you not? Devil man, blacksmith. <clears throat> Other one. North Country fella. Mm. You know who he is, do you? No. That blackguard Shipton's brother. Brought here for poaching. That's the kind of ruffians they are. Are you certain? Takes my overseer to deal with this sort. 
<laughs> He's discovered they value the flesh on their back. <laughs> so you have Shipton's brother? Mm -hmm. So he told me. <laughs> Judge Glynn, I... I want to ask you a favor. I, I'd like to take Shipton off your hands. Of course, dear Mr. Furby. Look, he is Jason's son. I'm sure there can be no harm. Oh, might as well. He's no good to you, I assure you. Would you carry out a pardon? Oh, I say. But, Papa, nothing should be impossible, surely. In your position. Then we shall have to see. You'll appreciate being a practical man. It's legal enough here, but they may not view it so in London. You understand my meaning? Yes. It won't be seen in London. Hmm? No. You're a close one, Mr. Furbeck. I like that. Damn me, though, I am curious about what you're up to. Set a thief to catch one. Am I right? Right. Get up! Not a sign down here. Fairman, true value of a Charles Shimpton, a sign of Judge Good. Look. with no mothership. You forgot. Our best porch in Yorkshire. Sir, uh, when you said, when you told me, I'd have a pardon on the job if I was true to your orders. Didn't believe it. Put her off safe, mister? Yeah? I can't go back. Not to being a convict. I'm looking to find me brother. Him and me, we, we get on, Tom and me. Oh, you'd like him. Do the job, you'll go free. I'll get him. Esther, who are we waiting for? Same one she is. Dead men don't come alive, mister. Then we'll wait for a ghost. Keep out of sight. Oh, I will, mister. I will.
We don't come to visit us anymore. No. Is anything wrong? No. How's you? Come and see. Anna, why do you not go? Because of some rumors by these buffoons? Truly, Anna, you'd be so welcome. You know that. You listen to your papa. Your mama is not always, how do you say, truthful when there's some mischief she can be making. You go and see for yourself, eh? See if I'm not right. Hmm? Wait for me, Jesse. Wait! <laughs> I know it's true. Mama told me. Now Shepard said so too. Oh, think I didn't know. Everyone in the village says it's true. You get more like your mother every day. My mother out of it. It's all Nora. You spend hours with her. Day after day, night after night. You, you, you tomcatting cheat. Look, I don't want the alehouse manners of your mother here. This is Jassy's home. He prefers that Irish board, the brother troll to me. Jesse, is he betting with her? Please, Anna, I don't. Shepard says he is. They say he spent the night down at her shack. We shouldn't talk of it. I know nothing and I don't listen to the men. Tell 
れたんです。Get off my land. <laughs> <laughs> 